All right, guys. Are we streaming? Uh, all right, so we are back. <clears throat> Excuse. Can you guys hear me? I think you guys can. Um, let me just check real quick. Are we live yet or no? Okay. Alright guys, so sorry about the stream before. Uh, so basically I had a little issue with the network and that's why the live stream was, you know, uh, was lagging. That's why I disconnected it because, um, so basically I had this D-Link router that I had to, this router was always, always like, you know, giving me a problem. So I had another Asus router, so I just replaced, uh, this router with the Asus router and uh, so I replaced the uh, dealing uh, router with the Asus router so hopefully uh, hopefully we're good and we don't get disconnect or you know start lagging and stuff so sorry about that so again I'll just go through the parts real quick for you guys so basically what we're doing today uh, I'm upgrading my uh, main workstation slash uh, gaming PC uh, I had like a uh, 8700K in this build before with uh, I believe ASRock uh, Z370 motherboard but the problem what happened was the motherboard gave up and I had the CPU laying around one of my friends bought the CPU and then I was like you know what whatever and I just sold the CPU to him for $280 I think right now you can pick up 8700K for $329 he, he was one of my close friends so I just gave it to him alright so right now I picked up a uh, AMD Ryzen 2600X from Micro Center. Uh, so basically, I picked up a old, uh, like an open box uh, uh, Ryzen 2600X uh, CPU. But uh, when I went there, uh, they didn't have the one I wanted, the open box one. So they are like, you know what? We'll just give you a brand new one, the same price, uh, $151. So they were kind enough to do that. So yes, we're going with the uh, AMD Ryzen 2600X. Uh, I would recommend you guys to go with like uh, 2600, you don't need to go with 2600X, but I got a pretty good deal, so I was like, why not? Uh, also, the, uh, you guys know 2600, 6 core, 12 thread, and the motherboard I picked up for this build, uh, let me show you guys real quick. So the motherboard I picked up for this build, uh, you guys can see right here, I don't know if you guys can see it, pretty far. Uh, so motherboard I picked up is a Asus uh, uh, Strix ROG a B350 uh, gaming motherboard. One of the best motherboard I personally think, like a, one of the best like uh, B350 uh, motherboard from Asus. Uh, so real quick, I'll just show you guys because right before this live stream, uh, I was basically you know I did an unboxing and everything for this motherboard and CPU, but I'm sorry. Uh, I had to delete that live stream also because, you know, the problem because I seen like this uh, issue was there, like lagging and stuff. Alright, so let me just go through the motherboard uh, specs real quick and let me just show you guys. So, I had the older motherboard, like older version of this motherboard, uh, B350 and this one is B450. Uh, so basically, B4, the difference between B450 and B350, uh, just by, you know, like look-wise, um, B450 comes with like this uh, extra shroud here and also come with like a built-in uh, IO shield. I really like the built-in uh, IO design, so you are not going to lose your IO shield. And it's really easy, like whenever you're building a computer, you just slide the motherboard in and that's about it. Uh, you guys can see um, the I real quick does come with two USB 2, uh, three USB 3 or 3.1 and there's a USB C uh, right here you guys can see. Also there is a um, Ethernet and uh, oh right here we have a, I can't even see. Okay so we have a display port and we have a uh, HDMI port there and also we have the Ethernet audio interface. So let's look at the uh, PCI slot right. So the only thing with B450 
450 and b350 you can sli with this motherboard okay so if you are planning on sli make sure you go with x370 motherboard or x470 you can cross fire with the uh, with the b 450 and b350 motherboard but you can sli so just remember if you are uh, uh, like future proofing you you know if you're building a computer and you're planning on like future proofing it like you are planning on going with sla and stuff make sure guys get the x370 uh, or x470 um so you guys can see the first slot here 16x the second one 8x and the third one should be 4x and there's like uh, six pci slots here also the difference between the asus uh, b350 motherboard and this b450 this motherboard comes with two m.2 slot and the b350 came with only one also the design is really different uh you guys can see the not bridge i believe yeah uh, the heat sink design and stuff you can also change this and uh, yeah other than that i do like this motherboard i do like all black motherboard because like i said i'm building a black and white build um, also this motherboard come with six uh, fan header so if you have like uh, you know you have like fan like maybe more than like three four fans uh, you don't have to worry you can go up to like six fans uh, one of the fan you will use for of course the cooler CP cooler or if you're using liquid cooler so you'll use two but you still have like a four left to work with so you can install like four fan uh, does come with one three point one uh, header here you can connect your three point one and it does come with a uh, six uh, SATA three right here. Can you guys see? All right, and uh, that's that's about it. Uh, but I personally like this motherboard. Uh, you guys can see the back also. Look, look at the design. It's really really cool, right? I really like this design. Okay. This motherboard basically for gamers. You know what I mean? You see, game on. Okay. Uh, all right, and also this motherboard does come with a uh, eight-pin CPU connector, not uh, not uh, four-pin. Comes with eight-pin. Um, also, it does come with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It does come with eight. Uh, cho so I think this motherboard has a six plus two. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, but. Uh, it's a pretty good motherboard also does come with uh, two RGB header I believe these are 50 by 50 all right um, and also super me is this uh, yes yeah, super super you know, facts okay it does all right all right guys so let's just go on with the build and uh, also I'll show you guys what else I'll be uh, using for this build before that I would like to what's going on all right so for uh, I'll, I'm only using one drive for now I will have like a like a uh, hard drive like a mechanical hard drive maybe two two terabyte but for now I'll be using the m.2 here I say uh, Samsung 960 Evo uh, 250 gig so because I do need like a fast uh, read and write speed for like uh, it will help you a lot like when you're rendering video and stuff so that's why I'm going with m.2 and the RAMs I'm going with uh, Corsair uh, Vengeance so these are uh, Corsair Vengeance LPX uh, DDR4 3000 megahertz can overclock to maybe 3200 with 1.35 volt or 1.36. I really like these RAMs. Uh, also, these are all black. Oops, almost dropped it. And you guys can see the CPU here. Uh, right here, uh, Ryzen 2600X. And the cooler I'll be using, guys, uh, use cooler. Uh, so I have a one of the sample from uh, Kyrie uh, review. So this cooler was sent by Kyrie. Uh, that's a Kyrie uh, H5 cooler. I really like the design and also can, you guys can see the white uh, shroud top on the uh, heatsink. I really like that. Kind of goes with the build. So basically, I'm trying to stick with like black and white uh, theme. So yes, going with the Kyrie cooler. All right, let's not waste any more time and let's start building. And uh, 
you know and if you guys have any questions just don't forget to ask me and I'll be more than I have to answer oh the graphics card right so the graphics card I have here guys uh, like I say if you guys did watch the last live stream uh, the one with the network issue I did already explain about this graphics card so the card I have here uh, let me actually show you guys the box where's the box where is the box only if I can find oh the box is right here so you guys can see uh, Asus RX 580 dual uh, so you guys can see here uh, say 8 gig okay graphics card I picked up this graphics card from Craigslist from this person he had like almost what 80 or 86 graphics card I think he's a miner and he used this card for mining also now I bought this graphics card without this fan these are the EVGA these, these fans are from EVGA graphics card and I had to like zip tie those fan to the cooler for now and the temperature is really good picked up this card without fan without shot for $40 RX 580 8 gig guys um, I personally like this card um, you know I play GTA 5 uh, Overwatch Fortnite it's perfect card for like 2560 by 1080 or 1080 even 1440p gaming should be more than enough so yeah eventually I'll have like a cooler on maybe a liquid cooler or like the Arctic GPU cooler air cooler but for now guys I gotta stick with this this funny looking graphics card so just you know bear with me Um, yeah, M.2 is a fast right? All right, so first thing first, uh, what do we need to do? We need to prep the motherboard. So real quick, I'll just prep motherboard, uh, you know, install the CPU and then install the you know RAM then the cooler and then after we have everything set up here we'll just install the motherboard on um, the case and that should be it and start connecting the, all the wires and stuff so let me just remove these brackets Whenever you are working with the motherboard guys, just remember one thing whenever you are like unscrewing something Just make make sure your hand is steady and don't just miss and like like just stab the motherboard You know don't just drop the screwdriver on the motherboard because there is like, you know little little uh, You know like things around the CPU socket like the chokes and stuff So you don't want to tap those and you know just dis disable so be careful like hold it with two hand don't do it uh, like you want just hold with both hand and just have like steady you know trust me you can easily make mistake and uh, you don't want to do that so only two thing I'm using brand new today just the motherboard and uh, CPU everything else here is used but whenever I'm working with the motherboard I try to you know stay as safe I can so I don't mess up anything uh, hold on I need to install the I can install the M.2 later so first let's install the CPU I think for the for whatever I do like the type of work I do I think I should be perfectly fine with uh, Ryzen 2600 and 2600 X like six core should be more than enough for what I do but if you guys do like like heavy uh, video rendering or live streaming you know I would recommend you guys to uh, go with like a 
to go with the 8 core over 6 core even you pay a little extra okay just gently drop the CPU in the socket that's it not to press anything just just all right because AMD CPUs have like uh, pins under the CPU so you don't want to bend any of those pins because if you do bend uh, trust me CPU is done um, Intel other way around so just just be careful whenever installing any AMD CPU because you want to make sure you don't tap any of those uh, pin under the CPU and bend those because you don't want to do it it's really bad um, okay I want to I want to install the M.2 before I forget because right after I install the heatsink this part is really really tight so let me install let me install the oh well at you. Hopefully, I can find that. Oh, I found it. Also, sorry I couldn't show you guys like the unboxing for this motherboard. Um, I did show in the like last live stream I did like like maybe a half hour or hour ago, and uh, that live stream was uh, disconnected because of bad uh, network connection. But if you guys want to see uh, real quick. Uh, it does come with SATA cable, uh, user guide, it does come with like zip ties, uh, driver CD, and that's about it. Also, uh, hold on, why? Alright, Bobo, hey Bobo, Bobo, alright, now uh, I did change the setup a little bit because the last live stream the, you know, the, the table was here, so it was kind of hard to see stuff like when I'm installing and stuff, that's the reason uh, I kind of changed the setup, so hopefully you guys can uh, watch me better now, clearly. Or the build. Wow, I can't. Is that it or the other one? No, I think that should be it. Yo, I don't know what's going on. Let me get my screwdriver. So the giveaway will happen when I hit 10k sub. Because I'm giving away a bunch of stuff. And uh, I don't think if like, okay. So the reason I said 10k sub, if, I, if I'm giving away like almost like seven, eight hundred dollars of uh, stuff. Um, so... I just I just want to make sure when I hit the 10k milestone then I think the giveaway will be worth it so that's the reason like if you guys watch the giveaway video I mentioned in the video uh, the official video I will uh, release the official video after I hit 10k so because I'm giving away a lot of stuff guys 
you, you guys will see in the video like if you didn't watch the giveaway video you should so Don't worry, I will make sure you guys will see a giveaway video, okay? You guys will see an official giveaway video, how to enter, but like I said, right after you hit 10k, that's when you guys will see. Don't worry, I'm not trying to scam anybody. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Here we go, M.2 is installed. What's wrong with this? It's like my screwdriver is screwing me. That's funny, right? Screwdriver is screwing. I don't know why. Oh man, I need to, I need, I, I need to buy new magnetic screwdrivers. Because the ones I had, these are cheap. And these are not good. All right, so we are done installing the M.2. Now we need to install the bracket for uh, Kyrie H5 cooler. You guys can see up here, right here. So here's the bracket, uh, really easy installation. So basically uh, for installing like Kyrie H5 cooler in like a, uh, you know, like AMD M M4 motherboard, you need to install first the standoff okay for standoff and then this uh, m4 bracket goes right on the top and then after that you put this uh four nut right on the like the, the top of the bracket and that's it's really really simple so i don't know for some reason i do like this motherboard a lot i don't know why uh, I get back up to put you in. Uh, sure. See you. Come back. I like to be careful like you know every time like I'm uh, installing the cooler CPU in another board because like a lot of things go wrong like whenever like, if you're rushing just don't rush when, whenever you are building like a computer just relax and don't rush you know because if you rush you might you might mess up and you don't want to rush it. done installing the bracket so we are done with the bracket yep I'm just making sure tight tight enough all right so bracket done uh, I'm I need to clean the because uh, I used this cooler before and I want to make sure the surface is clean for the the, the, the cooler heatsink 
So I need to use some alcohol and if I can. Okay, so I do have some alcohol here, you guys can see, 99%. Need napkin. <laughs> I'm just like hoping that this time uh I don't I don't know I don't face any problem while streaming like last time that old router just gave me a problem hopefully this time I'm okay so just stay tuned I'm coming right back guys I need mean, napkin All right, got napkin. Hello. Hello. All right. Just making sure. All right. Should be fine. Should be good. Now I do have some thermal paste uh, from Insignia. Not all that great, but it's the only one I have. I normally use uh, MX4, but I don't have any MX4 now. Hey Raptor, thanks man, you should share some popcorn with me. And dude, I, I like your videos. You need to up, you need to upload up, upload uh constantly, you know, you know? I like your those scammer videos you do. Really good. Um Okay. Now I don't know how long this live stream will be, cause I don't think today. I don't know if I'm if if um uh, I don't know if I'm going to benchmark. Like I don't know if you guys want to see benchmark. How to dream of buying a computer and play great games? Whoa, that's tough. Alright, so real quick, let's just install them. What the hell? That's like, that's a brand new, brand spanking new CPU, but I just want to make sure the surface is clean. Like I see some I see some dirt and I don't like that. Look, I don't recommend like beginners to like I don't re recommend beginners to like build brand new computer. If if you're starting up like new and you just like you are new into this PC master race um uh, PC gaming, just pick up like a pre build. Like pre build I mean you know what? Look Pick up a used Dell computer, like op Dell Optiplex, or pick up like Lenovo old computer, uh, you know, the one comes with Core i5 2400 CPU, the second gen CPU, and just throw a graphics card, throw 8 gigs of RAM and a SSD, you got more than enough for gaming, you know, like don't, don't just go with the hype, you know, like build a Ryzen computer, brand new Ryzen computer, or an Intel computer, you, you guys don't need to do that. Trust me, like when I start, when I start, like start up new in PC, like I never had a concept because like <laughs> when I, well, okay, so I always wanted a PS1 when I was in high school, but I couldn't afford one. So I never had a console. The computer stuff is not too... You know? Okay, so the computer I'm building right now for myself, so basically uh, the main focus for using this computer 
basically for gaming and a 6 core uh, 2600 uh, Ryzen 2600X more than enough for gaming and streaming and uh, also for like video rendering and stuff more than enough I was planning on getting like a 2700X but the problem is there was some leak about uh, AMD uh, 3000 series processor maybe maybe will come out around like May 2019 that's the reason I picked up the uh 2606 core cpu for now and maybe down the road i'll just pick up uh, i'll just pick up the 16 core or 8 core or 12 core amd maybe planning on releasing so that's the reason i didn't go with 2700x guys i was planning on going with 2700x but then i was like you know what it's okay some thermal paste. <laughs> I don't care. As long as I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> a lot, it's okay. Alright. Uh, this fan is pretty old. I think it's fan uh, like the Carrick H5 cooler, uh, this fan is really, really I can like, I can hear the fan is getting loud, maybe the bearing is going bad, so I don't know, I might pick up one, but this fan is really, not really expensive, for like 17 or 18 dollar you can pick up from Newegg, uh, by the way that was a review sample from Kyrie, I do have a video, if you guys want to watch, Wait. And then, I just tied. What the hell? Okay. One. Oh, come on. Why? Why, why, why? Okay, now we good. Alright, so one round, and one more round. Uh, yeah, you can join the giveaway. That's the only way I can give you a computer if you win. All this alcohol flying. All this flying. Flying away, baby. Hey, Saki. How you been, man? Um, what are the games you play? So, my favorite game, Overwatch, Fortnite. Actually, I like Overwatch more than Fortnite. CSGO, GTA 5. Um, what else? Yeah, that's about it. But I do play Overwatch a lot. I'm not, like, I'm not that good at it, but I just, I just enjoy playing Overwatch. Um, Battlefield 4. But the Battlefield community is like dead. Like if you go to Battlefield 4 server, like that. Um, I don't really like Battlefield 5 or Battlefield 1. Just making sure this cooler is like... <sighs> tight enough. Da, 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 da. Why? It's like, I don't know what I'm doing here. 
Okay, just making sure one last time. And why I got thermal paste on my... Oh, God. Right. You have another account in which to play CSGO? Uh, I have only one YouTube channel like for this stuff. I do have other YouTube channel. Like I have one more like for cars and stuff. But like the other YouTube channel I only have like 42 subscribers. Um, I don't know. I, I have a Twitch account like sometime I do like like I do stream. You guys, if you guys want, you can add me in Twitch, um, Tech Tunnel Life, and I have no follower there. No one likes me. No one likes me anyway. I'm like the most like hated person. Okay. See, no one watching my live stream. Only you guys are watching. Like no love. I'm like the most. Like I'm the hated. Like, everyone hates me. I don't know why, but no one likes me. It's okay. I love you guys, you know. I don't care. Alright, let me install these ramps. Hey, I'm not perfect. Okay? I'm not perfect, so. And my contents are not crispy. Okay, like MKG or Linus Tech Tip. So, if no one. <laughs> no one care about my video if no one cares about my video no one uh, like watching my video what can I do I'm not as good as Linus Tech Tip I'm not as good as uh, MKHD I just do whatever I feel like who cares right so that's me that's just me Jai Sisaki is like laughing right now. He's like, haha. Hey, you know one thing, one thing I remember, like I learned like growing up, I was, you know, you gotta keep it real, okay? You have to be yourself. And one thing I don't do, I don't like copying, like copy other people. I just don't, okay? It doesn't matter who are you. You know, you could be, it could be the most talented person. I just do whatever I feel like, you know. Thanks, Aki. You know. Alright, so. Alright, so the motherboard is ready, guys, and about to install the motherboard. Let me drink some. Alcohol, 99%. That was, that was funny. That was gay, right? That was funny. That was funny, okay? By the way, Ryzen 2600X does come with cooler, so like, you don't have, or even 2600 comes with cooler, so that's what I like about this AMD processor. Like, you don't have to spend extra money for a cooler, like, you can wait. I don't know if you guys did watch my, like, I didn't make a video on it, the AMD 3000, uh, 3000 series uh, processor leak. So basically, they will have 3000, uh, Ryzen 5 3000G with 15 compute. Okay, well, you need uh, with uh, Navi graphic. I don't know how true is that. Like, like that's just that's just leak. But if that really happens, guys, wow. Cause you guys know uh, Ryzen three twenty two hundred G pretty good for playing Overwatch, CS:GO, even Fortnite. And Ryzen twenty four hundred G is even better than uh, Ryzen five twenty four hundred G is even better than uh, Ryzen twenty two hundred G. Now, the Navi graphics uh, should be even better than Vega, uh, Vega graphics, right? So, if they really have the Ryzen 5 uh, 3000G with the Navi 
15 uh, compute. Wow. And then they will have, uh, I don't know, 37G or 36G Ryzen 7 with 20 compute uh, new, uh, and it will have like uh, Navi graphics also. I don't know. I don't know. That's just, I don't know. That's, that's just lit guys. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'll make a video, you know. Don't, don't believe. But. I was planning on like like oh man you know what I was planning on like getting like beer and stuff like my favorite brand like I drink like Heineken and Corona I was I was planning on getting one but then it's like what time right now like 1 p.m. maybe the next live stream I will have beer I'll definitely have a beer and uh, I'll open up you guys like you guys did, you guys will see me like I'm a little reserved and that's the problem with me like like if you guys do watch my videos you guys will see you know but uh, even my wife tell me same thing just like you are you are way too reserved you need to like open up you know all right guys i don't know if you guys can see the part i'm installing the motherboard but uh because i have to change the camera angle then i gotta change everything else so i'm sorry if you can't But I promise you guys, next live stream, I will have beers and we'll chill. You know, maybe I'll get a little tipsy and then I'll build a computer and we'll game and share with you guys, you know. Oh, I love Bud Light also, man. I do, I do. I do like Bud Light. By the way, Saki, where are you from? You from USA, you know, America or different country? Right, time to install the motherboard. No, don't do it, please. All right. Uh, by the way, if you guys are wondering, I'm from uh, New York, okay, in America, New York. Um, I'm from Queens. So, yeah. If I can grab this, uh, I wouldn't recommend you guys holding the motherboard with the like like when you're installing the motherboard. Don't hold the motherboard with the cooler. But sometimes you just have to do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. Wow, guys, this motherboard looks so good inside this case. I'll, I'll show you guys real quick. Wait, it looks so freaking good right now. Love it. I just love it. What the hell is going on? What the? Why the hell are you holding me back? And also, I don't have the IO shield headache because this IO shield is like built in with the motherboard. So you don't have to like press the IO shield in and you don't have to do none of that. Look, you just put the motherboard. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, so this cooler was sent by Kyrick. I did like two, I, I did, I think, I did the Kyrick H5 review also in my channel if you search. And also Kyrick A80 liquid cooler. Uh, this cooler is big, but this cooler is really good for overclocking, guys. Really good. Like, you guys should watch my other video. Uh, the review video. Oh, uh, yes, I can close the panel. I'll show you guys. After I put everything together, I'll show you guys. Um... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you guys will see. It's, it's not that bad. Not that bad. I know it looks like Canon. Let's get the. Yeah. 
Alright. So, I'll install my uh, $40 RX480 graphics card. Okay, by the way, Saki, I don't know if you, let me show you. Because I, I don't think you use this part. Where, what the hell? Oh, right there. Right. So, I got this graphics card, okay, from Craigslist, from a miner. Okay, I only tested it, it works perfectly fine. For $40, and I'll show you guys why. It's an Asus RX580 Duo, okay, for $40. Let me show you why, okay. So, you use this card for mining, okay. And this card didn't come with like the fan. So these are the EVGA fan, you guys can see. Okay. Uh, so the card didn't come with the shroud or the fan. So I installed this fan from one of the EVGA card I had, you know, laying around one of the cooler. And $40 guys for RX 580, 8 gig. Okay, Asus, 40 buck, okay. So basically he told me just buy you know, at your own risk, you know, I used for mining. I tested this card. I was playing Overwatch for hours. GTA 5. This card works perfectly fine. 40 buck. I'm telling you, you gotta buy graphics card from those miners. You know, they feel guilty. You know, so to just just buy from them. You know, like yo, you know what? You you, you messed up that graphics card, bro. Now let me get this card, you know, and like like the person I got this card from, Craigslist, uh, he li literally have 86 graphics card, like 86. And uh, he was also giving me a, he was also giving me a GT, you know, a GTX 1070 for $200. But I'm planning on buying like a, uh, planning on buying like a 1080. So I was like, nah, I'm good. And I don't really need like a powerful graphics card because like I'm playing game like Overwatch at 1080p. You want to send it to me? Um, I kind of need this card, Saki. But uh, hey, you know what? Next time I get a good deal, maybe I'll put the links up and maybe you guys can check if you want. If you want, the, the person I bought this card from, or like the Craigslist, maybe I can give you guys, give you link, Saki, or just give you guys the link. And maybe you can contact him and see if he can, uh, you know, like maybe ship it to you guys. He also live in uh, New York, uh, not too far from me. And another reason I went, uh, I went with uh, AMD over Intel right now, and a B450 motherboard. So whenever AMD release their new uh, CPU, I can just use this motherboard and sell my CPU. You know, it's kind of easy. You know. Um, way from in. Oh. Like some of the seller, they don't like shipping, or they don't they don't believe in PayPal and stuff. Cause I get like crazy deals, but like these guys, they're like, no, we don't want to ship it to you. And then I will tell them like, oh, I have a YouTube channel, you can trust me. And they're like, I don't, we don't care if you have a YouTube channel. I'm like, damn, 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 damn. That's my story. They don't care if you're a YouTuber. They don't give damn. These guys are like, we don't care. We don't care. You YouTube yourself every day. We don't give damn. Oh, I don't know if I could get to this one. Mm -hmm. 
actually I can't. No, it's too tight. Wait. Let's see if I can get the other. Ah, yeah, yeah. I'm also waiting for the new uh, new AMD processor. But if... I don't know if you've seen the leak. Like, I think I, I did post it also from uh, WCC Tech something so basically MD will have like a on M4 socket they will have a 16 core CPU for $500 if 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 this leak is really what I think it is but I don't know Oh, by the way, the case I'm using for this build, NZXT S340 Elite. Sorry, I didn't tell you guys before, but you guys, you guys recognize this case. I don't know what to tell you guys. You guys know. Alright, let me show you. Oh no, wait, wait, one second, one sec. I need to install this uh, 8 pin CPU. Uh, and then. Oh, come on. I hate this part. The reason, because uh, I already have the cooler installed. Yes. This part is really pain in ass. It's pain in butt. Oh, I almost got it. No. Oh, I almost had this. Oh, I'm getting old. All right, the CPU uh, 8 pin is connected. And now we need to put the 24 for the motherboard. And uh, USB 3 panel. USB 3 panel. All right, 24 pin. 24. I can't. This is like this is like two type. I don't know why. Okay. I hate this aftermarket, like the cables, the cheap one, the braided cable. Definitely recommend you guys like cable mod cable and stuff. Don't get these cheap ones. They're really bad. I think I got the Silverstone one. These are not good at all. Don't cheap out guys. Like these are really old. The ones I have. I need to remove this RAM or I can't do it. It's like the RAM is holding me back. Perfect. Don't worry, I'll show you guys. Don't worry. Just don't worry. All right. So you guys can see the back. Cause like I said, I already had like a build in there. You see everything. This, this cable is for the RGB fan. 
and that's for like the RGB fan right there and you guys can see the front right here so black and white guys black and white hold on let me connect the audio Is that still it? Yep, that is it. That's about it. Alright, got the audio. I'll get the USB. Maybe this will get bored watching this video. Who cares? Who cares? And now, what's that? Right. Now I have to connect the front panel connections. Okay, so um, where is it? I think I got it. Right. So top we have the uh, power. Sorry guys, I can change the camera angle because if I change the camera angle right now, trust me, I have to change a lot of stuff. Uh, let me connect the hard drive. Okay, here goes the hard drive and LED plus. Is that plus right there? Plus. So, where is it? Okay. So, you got LED plus right here. LED minus right here. And then I have the power. Whoa. Oh, I'm sorry. Something is not something not right. All right. All right, guys. We are all set. So we got front panel all connected and good to go, and then we have uh, everything. Basically, everything all set. Thanks, Saki. Um, like I said, I had a build in this case before. I had like a bunch, like couple build in this case. I had a Ryzen 1800X build. I had a um, X99 build. I had a Ryzen 1700X build, 1700 build, and now I have uh, the 2600. Because basically, what I do most of the time, I just sell, you know, sell everything. Like after I make the video. After I'm done with it, like I sell everything, so because that's the only way I can survive in YouTube. Because YouTube doesn't pay shit. YouTube, YouTube really don't pay anything. Trust me, guys. Especially a channel like mine. You know. So basically, I pay everything out of my pocket. Everything. Yeah, I do get review sample and stuff, but not like graphics card and motherboard. Uh, I'm installing my $40 graphics card right now. Bear with me. Alright. Cables. Oh man, please don't touch. Is it touching? Please, please, please. Okay, hopefully, hopefully we are good. I will eventually get like the Arctic cooler, the air cooler, or maybe I'll get an NZXT G12 and throw like a liquid cooler. I don't know.
I normally don't really I normally don't make video like whenever like I'm upgrading my personal computer but I was like you know what I should just share with you guys anyway Whoa, hold on, what's going on here? Oh, that should be fine now. I'm trying to fix this cable, it's like all crooked. All right, here we go. That's final right there. Okay. Yes. Let me close the back. Yeah, we should be fine. Oh, I didn't connect one of the fan. Sorry. I need to. Sorry, I have to connect this bottom fan. All right, that's it. So I have to connect this fan right here on the top. Sorry, not the bottom one. By the way guys, that's not a high-end build, that's just like a budget workstation. And uh, here we go. You guys can see. Alright, so I have the okay, RGB fans working. So I have one on the top. You can see right here. One on the top. The, the RGB fan. These are not really RGB RGB. You can pick up those for like three fans. The like three in one pack from uh, Amazon for like $39. I believe these are AMZ Tronics. Uh, so you can switch to like maybe seven color. Like, hold on. So I think what that's what green and then blue, uh, purple, pink, light blue, green again, uh, it's like a hyper white and then we'll just like just go through the other color and then off and then let's put on the breathing mode and then we'll just circle through colors. thanks man so that should be it guys uh, I wanted to just share with you guys real quick like I said I don't really make videos about like my personal rate that's the reason I know I was like I'm just gonna live stream and uh, so $40 graphics card okay and this card works really good I will eventually have maybe Arctic cooler on it and uh, air cooler and or maybe I'll have a NZXT uh, G12 cooler with the maybe H55 liquid cooler so maybe I'll just water cool this graphics card other than that I think uh, this build does look really nice maybe I'll have like a hyper white is it oh no I'll just keep it like that 
Alright okay, guys, so see you guys next one. Uh, I hope you guys didn't get bored. I'm sorry if you did. And uh, that should be it. If you guys want to see like a full benchmark video, just make sure you give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned. Peace guys. Take care Saki.